boys and girls. Today, we are going to read an article titled, What Would Peter Do? by Peter Kummerfeld from www.outdoorsafe.com. And we're going to do this activity together. We are going to annotate the text. Follow along as I read. I judge his age to be about 28 or 9 as he entered the room and approached me at the conclusion of one of my seminars in Portland, Oregon some years ago. The attendees had left the room and I thought it a bit odd that someone would come in after all of the seminars were over for the day. Can I help you? I asked. No, he answered. You already have. It turns out that the previous hunting season he had driven up into the Cascade Mountains east of Portland, Oregon to spend the afternoon hunting elk. Or in his own words, I was just going out to see if I could shoot an elk. And in that short statement is the nucleus of what could have become a disaster. Finding a likely place to begin the hunt, he parked his truck on a forest service road, grabbed his rifle, and little else after all, he was just going out for a short afternoon hunt and started up the hill. The higher up the hill he climbed, the deeper the snow became until he found himself walking in ankle-deep snow. Cresting the ridge, he found fresh elk tracks in the snow. Excited now at the possibility of actually killing an elk, he overlooked the trap that was being set. 1. The weather as he left Portland on the drive into the Cascades was mild. He wouldn't need much clothing. Since it was only going to be a short hunt and he would be home that night, he didn't need to take a lot of gear. No one was available to go with him. Number three, he didn't tell anyone where he was going. Number four, he'd been in the area many times before. Number five, The vision of a freezer full of fresh elk meat overshadowed any thoughts he might have had of a looming crisis. Now, let's talk about what we have just read. I'm going to share that I'm thinking that I know that the author of this text is Peter. Okay, so Peter is the author. And he was teaching a class or a seminar. And the man said that Peter had helped him, even though Peter had never met the man. Then Peter starts telling about the man's hunting trip. We know the trip became dangerous because Peter says he overlooked the trap that was being set. Then it lists the five things that were happening. So in this section, the main idea of it is that Peter is telling the reader about a hunting trip that a man went on that became dangerous. So you know what? I'm going to type my main idea for this section. Peter is telling the reader about a hunting trip that a man went on that became dangerous. Can I misspell hunting? All right, so that is my main idea. And I'm going to put a star right here. Now let's find some supporting details. So I think Some supporting details would be that it took place, the hunting trip took place in the Cascade Mountains east of Portland, Oregon. Okay, so I'm going to highlight that. Then I'm going to put, he parked his car and grabbed his rifle. Okay, I'm also going to highlight higher up he climbed, the deeper the snow became. That's important. That is an important supporting detail. And I'm going to highlight he found elk tracks in the snow. 
and the five points showed that the trap was being set. So I'm just going to highlight one, two, three, four, five. So these are all very important supporting details showing that the trap was being set. All right. So now we have our main idea and our supporting details for the first part of what we've just of what we've just read. Let's continue reading.